Hello everyone, my name is Uthris and welcome to a small game called Polybridge. Um, taking a little bit of a breather from doing anything creative today, so that's why we're doing something like this. And it's uh, very similar to many of the build bridge build simulation games um, using like education for your say engineering students and things like that or anyone in general that enjoy engineering uh, luckily in high school I took some college classes for engineering so hopefully I can do okay um, I can't make any promises though because you just never know yeah this looks like a bridge no. <laughs> like I broke its neck. So I went through the tutorial levels just so you guys don't get bored of the simple stuff. And we are going straight towards doing a 10 meter jump. And so I'm thinking maybe I should just do a nice kind of truss like this just to get to the the crux of the joint. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Biker d guy did a little flip at the end. There we go. So the art style is pretty cool. I like how it goes into an isometric view at the end there. And looks like we're doing an even bigger jump. Uh, so we get five pieces. We'll do two down, one even, and then... Let's do a 45 degree angle. Usually that's the best kind of launch vector for most things. And then we'll just do our wooden supports as per the usual. Ah. Uh, yeah, this is gonna this is gonna look pretty ugly. User left your channel. User disconnected from your channel. And people are leaving TeamSpeak. I'll have to turn that off. Oh boy, no, no, that ain't that ain't right. Yeah, let's let's try that. Oh, no, not not even close. Uh Hmm Okay, so maybe the best thing to do is to do a nice kind of strut design here first uh, Can't quite make it there Right, that might work. Most likely not, though. So let's do a pretty wide triangle at the bottom there. Nope. Hmm. I am sucking pretty hard. I think this bending down thing is messing with the proportions and the angles of the weight distribution. So we'll just go straight out to there. You can see this stop perfectly hovering over the center point, so this might be what they were hoping people would do. Oh, too far over. Alright, and we'll just brace these. Just like that. And then we'll bring over and up. And connect these struts. Like so? Nope. Alright. For real. Can we do it? There we go. Man. That took uh, way longer than it should have for sure. But we made it on our budget. Like we're doing a drawbridge of some kind here. Uh, 
Um, and the best way to do this looks like some type. Oh, didn't mean to press space there. So we'll need verticals here and here to do the bridge. And then, let's see, let's get rid of this and just make the make the height of it a little lower, I think. Okay. Camera over. Do I? No, yeah. You don't want these directly over these. It's best to start from this side. Come on. I find the controls of this game a little wonky. They're not very intuitive. Well, they are, but I feel like they could function better. do our normal cross members here and I need one there oh that one there all right bring up our little wheel here uh, is it is it not gonna give me an option for A hydraulic here like does it actually want me to make a the road go over the ship instead of just using a drawbridge that's a little weird but doable I mean let's see here I mean, we are getting unlimited road for this. Okay, that's fairly even. Let's get rid of that and try and center this a little bit better. So we have better points connecting these. And go to wood. Just uh, follow the natural arc of things, I suppose. All right, and do our trusses. That might hold. Oh, it's shaking. That's a little weird. Who would design a bridge like this? Like, it would have been so much easier to just do a drawbridge, guys. Yeah, no. That angle's too steep. Get rid of this one. Nope. And connect these up. There we go. I think that angle will be fine. You might even just ramp off and land on the bridge. Which will work out for us in the long run, I guess. Oh, no. Too much force. Uh, so let's just delete that and do a gentle slope again here. And connect these with wood. Okay, so that's gonna hold. I promise, this time for sure, for real, 100%, and I missed a point. There we go. That'll work. I still don't know who would design a bridge like this. Seems a little absurd. I should probably turn up the sim speed so we're not looking at that boat go across at the half, half the speed of smell over time. All right. So, let's see, 91%, under budget, that's okay. Here's a drawbridge, thank you. Man. I've been waiting for one. 
Uh, you know, let's... Let's do an under-supported one. Because it really doesn't matter if you're doing uh, the trusses at the top or the bottom, really. It essentially does the same thing. It's like tension strength holding these bits firm. No, I don't want a joint there. So we can do that. Build a nice little vertical here. And then hydraulic up these. And that doesn't work. Why'd that not work? Hold on. Looks like the center is just too much weight for it, so we'll have to, I guess, support the top as well. This is gonna go over budget, I can tell you already. And it looks really ugly at the same time. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, small car, made it across just fine. Let's see the hydraulics work. Nice, not bad, not bad. We have the nice little paddle wheel go through. I'm from West Virginia. I saw those a lot. In fact, my hometown does a stern wheel festival where uh, during the day, a bunch of paddle wheels will race down the O'Hara River. And that broke. Okay. Fine. Why'd that break? It really shouldn't have. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I mean, I could do that. I mean, that'll make it stronger, in a sense. Let's just try it. No, it made it weaker. It made it more heavy. Let's do a vertical post here. That might do something. Though probably not. Let's do 200% sim speed. The normal 100% is too slow. Too slow. Come on, boat. Get through there. Okay, car, break the bridge. Thank you. Thanks for doing that. Is there a hard point anywhere else? No. Okay. Huh. I don't know how I forgot those joints, but that's not really gonna affect anything. It's breaking at the roadways here. It's not breaking anywhere else. You know, maybe 300% some speed is what we want. Yeah, no. Nope. Whole lot of nope. Okay. Yeah, no. Let's, let's start over. Let's, is there any way to clear this really quickly? Right clicking on everything will work. Okay, so let's just grab our road. Put that all the way across. Make that a split joint. Yeah. Grab our wooden supports, which I mean, that, that should hold up that road by itself. I don't know why it's breaking just when it gets to the center. That makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. Um. 
Um, I wonder. Let's make the bridge go down. Let's see if that works. All right, it's in the water. That's effective. Bridge will go back up, and then we'll snap in the middle. Yep, just like that. Okay. But we might be on to something here. If I do that shape, it'll hopefully be really strong. And we just might get across. No. Huh. I suck. I suck at this game. Okay, we have a winning design. Here we go. It's actually very stable. Um, I did pretty much the same design a little bit ago and it didn't work but now it does so now we can move on happy days I'm sure you guys enjoy just okay that's a really big boat and I'm supposed to go uphill okay oh, okay uh Uh All right. Yeah, this 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 will work. Let's just support all that there and we can do That's not going to be tall enough. However, if I can bring this back a little bit. Oh boy. This, this. This is not gonna work. I just barely made the last one work. How am I supposed to make this one work? Okay, let's just do a split joint there and a hydraulic from there to there and there to there. That should open it up, no. Okay. We're learning. Did the right side break? Yes, yes it did. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's support the bottom too. Cable. What's cable going to do if, if there's no, like, winch? Oh. Can I just do a cable from there to there? <laughs> All right. Okay, there goes that bridge. And he goes in the water. Right. Um. Okay. Is there really no just clear all button? It really needs to be. Do I have an unlimited road? No, I do not. But, let's see if I can't. Oh boy, I can't create any more road. Um, okay, this one might beat me here. I 
If I could make the road longer, that'd be great. Because I could, I could make a really long drawbridge. Let's do this. Too tall. Still, still too tall. There we go. It's all about knowing which way the weight of this thing is pulling. We'll even do that. And we'll do a cable again to hold that side up. And then we can do this on this side as per the norm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, the start of this went so well and then it started build, trying to ask me to build really outrageous stuff. So this is what happens. Okay, let's try, no. Hmm. Mm -mm. Nope, to save time, I am just gonna do a skip here to the winning design, because this is taking too long. Boy, boy oh boy. Victory is mine. This ridiculous contraption works. So, you guys can see it in all its glory. And, yeah, it basically barely holds on. You can see all the stress points with the different colors. Green means good. Just like in uh, medieval engineers and stuff. So, there we go. Polybridge. That's, that's a kind of basic look at it. It's pretty good. Uh, I was surprised. Uh, I didn't think it would be as challenging as it was, considering I talked myself up at the beginning. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys liked the video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more gaming goodness. Uh, you guys can get this game on Steam. Early access, $11. It's pretty good. It's a nice little cheap game. The music's great. The art style is good. I can actually recommend this one for sure. Check out my other videos for more creative stuff from Medieval Engineers to Timber and Stone and other things. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.